Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One overview videos. Today we're going to be talking about inventory and specifically bin locations. So let's go look down at our modules here on the left-hand side. Let's go down to our inventory and let's look at bin locations. So as we can see here, I have bin location master data some bin location management and bin location code modification. So let's take a look at master data first. We're gonna see here that uh, it takes me over to an add mode. So it allows me to go in and add a new warehouse if I want to. I can add some aisles, shelves, and levels. But let's go take a look at some of the ones we have in the system. And I'm gonna go into find mode and we're gonna click our wild card here. And I can see all the different bin locations that I have available. So let's take a look at what I've put in for this one. For warehouse five, we can see I have A1 for aisle, S1 for shelf, L1 for level. Very simple and easy. Allows me to know that this is aisle one, shelf one, level one. And I can continue to monitor and manage these. So my bin location code is very easy. O5, A1, S1, L1. It's a nice way for me to know exactly where things are within my warehouse. Now I can go in and I can manage this further. I could put this into item groups. Um, as we can see here, I can put different types of descriptions associated with that. I could put weights and uh, item uh, number of items that are available to be put into this bin if I have different sizes. So it really makes it very comprehensive. So let's get out of here and let's go take a look at our bin location management. So this should look pretty familiar to you. Uh, almost exactly like that last screen, where I can then generate different bin locations. I can put in bin location codes. I can put in all of that information uh, specific for those bin locations by either adding that into the system or going and finding existing bins. If we look at bin location code modification, this is where I can then go in and make changes if I need to from one bin to another or from one warehouse to another. So if my aisles, my shelves, or my levels changed within my warehouse, I could easily just do code modifications here within the system. So thank you very much for listening to this quick overview of inventory specific bin locations.